Hi everyone, my name is Brendan Coyle and this is the video on how to edit in Audacity. We're going to go over some advanced techniques on how to edit in Audacity, um, but for the basics, uh, be sure you check out our Audacity guide at suchavoice.com slash support. I'll take you there right now. suchavoice.com slash support and this is a great web page for all our students um, you'll start out at the home page go down to general click on general and then the click on the audacity guide by such a voice and just click on the PDF here this is a great manual about how how to install audacity uh, how to how to set your settings basic things on how to record, how to stop, and other things such as how do you uh, channel all your audio in and out of Audacity if you're using a, an interface like an MBox or a Scarlett 2i2 or a Presonus audio box. This guide will explain all of that, how to set that up, how to save, how to export tracks, etc. So do check out that guide. Um, However, for this video, we are going to be basically going over some advanced editing. I'm going to do a few takes of a bit of copy and then I'm going to edit it together. So I hope you enjoy the video. So when you launch Audacity, the first thing that should come up is, you know, you'll get an Audacity window and you'll get this Audacity pop-up screen, how to get help. And I mean, there's just so many resources on the web on how to learn Audacity. I mean, for the money you pay for Audacity, which is nothing, it sure does come with a lot of help and support and you sure, you sure do get a lot with it. You can click on the, the quick help. Um, you can click on the manual online and they also have a wiki page and a forum to ask questions directly. And not to mention, if you are a Such A Voice client, you can always go to, again, suchavoice.com slash support and we have some resources there as well for you. Click OK. This window should pop up, but if it doesn't, um, let's just pretend it doesn't. You can go up to File. I'm going to open a new session. And it automatically brings up the Audacity window. I have all my inputs and my outputs already set up. I preset them up. And again, in order to do that, or in order to find out how to do that, just go to the Audacity guide at suchavoice.com slash support. And let me bring up the bit of copy I'm going to record today. It's going to be Goldfish Crackers. Um, I would say ideally as a voiceover talent, you want to be sure that you can, uh, you have really good voiceover technique and that you can perform a bit of copy perfectly from beginning to end, uh, at least by the second take with no problem. Um, that's especially important on especially long form narration such as audiobooks. Uh, you know, if, if, you, if you botch botch it up a lot as you go along, that's a lot of editing that you or your client has to do in post-production. Um, but for little, you know, 20 second spots like these and you're recording them from your own home, you're not recording them in a studio where, you know, you have to be on your game as far as performance, you can afford to take a few takes and even botch up a few takes and even repeat a few sentences, sentences and, uh, and then edit the best stuff together, edit the best from each take all together to make one master take. And that's pretty much what I'm going to do today. I will botch up this copy, not only for the benefit of the video, but because I will just I will just botch it. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit record. And Audacity is going to automatically start recording for me. My levels look good. And here I go. I'm going to record this script a couple of times. Let's see how I do. These goldfish crackers are natural. Baked with real ingredients, zero grams trans fat, no artificial, no artificial preservatives, and there's one for every taste because everyone's different, and that's only natural. Goldfish, 
the snack that smiles back. These goldfish crackers are natural, baked with real ingredients, zero grams trans fat, no artificial preservatives, and there's one for every taste, because everyone's different. Because everyone's different, and that's only natural. Goldfish, the snack that smiles back. These goldfish crackers are natural, baked with real ingredients, zero grams trans fat, no artificial, no artificial preservatives, no artificial preservatives, and there's one for every taste, because everyone's different, and that's only natural. Goldfish, the snack that smiles back. All right, let me go over here and just hit stop. And as you heard, I just did a lot of different takes. I did about three, and within those takes, I repeated some of the sentences. The first thing is, I want to see everything I did all at once. And that means I want to zoom out. To zoom in, you can just hit your zoom tool right here, and it allows you to zoom in. That's important for when you want to make microscopic edits. But I want to zoom out, so I'm going to hold down the shift key on my keyboard, and that's going to, now I'm going to click, and it's going to allow me to zoom out. Now I can see everything all at once. Another really important tool in Audacity is the selection tool. And it looks like there's a capital I, the letter I, on the button. So I'm just going to click that. And that's, that's, this is an important tool to help you select anywhere you want to place uh, your cursor on your region. It's like dropping the needle on a record. If I want to play it up here, hit play. These goldfish crop. Let me play, let me play this one, hit play. These goldfish crackers are natural. And instead of hitting play and stop, I'm going to start using the space bar on my computer keyboard. I'm going to hit the space bar to play it, then I'm going to hit the space bar again to stop. These goldfish crackers are natural. And that allows me to just select a place. These goldfish play it, stop. Let me select this place over here. Because everyone's deaf. And just getting used to using your computer keyboard uh, shortcut keys or quick keys is really going to help you become faster in editing in Audacity. And also, uh, what I did before is I expanded my track. I like to see it. I like to see everything really big, so it's easy to do. You just put your cursor over the edge of the bottom of the track, and you get this little arrow icon here. I'll just drag it wide like that. There we are. And I'm going to rewind all the way to the beginning. I'm going to hit play. And Audacity is going to automatically start recording for me. My levels look good. And here I go. I'm going to record this script a couple of times. Let's see how I do. So all of that is just what I was saying as I was recording the video. Obviously, I don't need that. So I want to get rid of it. And there's two things I can do. With the selection tool, the, the, the button with the, the capital I in it, I can just click and drag everything to the left. And I can highlight it. And I can just hit delete on my computer keyboard. The other option is I can go up here and then click this button. It's just the cut tool. If I, again, with the selection tool, I click and I drag and I highlight it and I just hit the cut tool. But again, I don't like to mouse around too much. I don't like to move my mouse around too much. So I'm just going to do it a quick bam. So let me go ahead and, and, and listen to my performances here. These goldfish crackers are natural. Baked with real ingredients, zero grams trans fat, no artificial, no artificial preservatives, and there's one for every taste because everyone's different, and that's only natural. Goldfish, the snack that smiles back. So that was my first take, and just to make it easier on my, on, on my eyes, so I can just keep track of what was take number one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to separate all the takes. I'm just going to separate them into separate regions. Now, before, now, I highlighted the dead space in, in, in here between the two takes. And let me go ahead with my, my zoom tool and zoom in just to make sure I'm not cutting away at one of my words. Go back to my selection tool. Just highlight all this dead air right here. I could just hit the delete key, but then again, it's going to shuffle this entire region over. And it's not going to separate, separate the regions. I want these regions separated. So let me undo that. And to undo something, if you do something like you delete it and you decide you don't want to do that, 
Uh, very handy keys are on a Mac it's Command Z and on a PC it's Control Z. You just hit C Command Z on my Mac and it undoes the last operation you did. That, ha that works in a lot of different kinds of software whether you're working in Word or Excel or uh, most almost all apps and all programs allow you to undo things by Command Z in Mac and Control Z, -Z in PC. But I really want to split these regions. In order to do that, I'm going to go up to Edit, Clip Boundaries, and Split. And you can see it has split these two regions away from each other. Now I want to move this region away from this region. So I need to select my Time Shift tool. The Time Shift tool is this button right up here. It looks like two arrows going to the left and to the right. It also looks like a dumbbell. I think it looks like a dumbbell. And with the Time Shift tool, it allows you to move regions. So if I just, with my Time, time Shift tool, I'm going to select this region and just move it away. And this, this bit of region that's highlighted, I can just hit Delete on my keyboard, get rid of it. I'm going to select my Zoom tool. I'm going to hit shift so I, I can zoom out. I'm going, to, I'm going to hold down shift and I'm just going to zoom out. So that's my first take, good. Now let me select my selection tool and play the second take. These goldfish crackers are natural, baked with real ingredients. And already I know I like the beginning of this better. I paced it a lot better. I kind of rushed the beginning of this take. I kind of crushed it a little bit. Baked with real ingredients. Zero grams trans fat, no artificial preservatives, and there's one for every taste. Because everyone's different. Because everyone's different, and that's only natural. Goldfish, the snack that smiles back. These goldfish. Okay, so there you go. There's my. That's the end of my second take. Let me do what I did before. I'm going to. I know that this is the part. This is the dead air between the two takes. I'm going to select my zoom tool. Click, just, I'm just going to click right in to zoom in, make sure I don't cut any words. Uh, select my selection tool, highlight, edit, clip boundaries, split. Select my time shift tool, move this region away, and just hit delete to delete that, that little bit in the, in the middle, that I don't, that, all that dead air I don't want. I'm going to select my zoom tool again, hold down shift, zoom out. And just I just want to listen to my third take now. And before I do that, let me just select my time shift tool and just move this a little bit away. Here we go. Let me just listen to my third take. These goldfish crackers are natural, baked with real ingredients, zero grams trans fat, no artificial, no artificial preservatives, no artificial preservatives, and there's one for every taste because everyone's different, and that's only natural. Goldfish, the snack that smiles back. Okay, for the most part, I like the third take. It pretty much has everything I, I, I need. Um, and I have the two other takes as backup, and that's fine. But I, you know what? Let me just compare, let me just compare the, 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 the beginning of my second take and the beginning of my third take here. These goldfish crackers are natural. These goldfish crackers are natural. No, I do like the third take still. These goldfish crackers are natural, baked with real ingredients, zero grams trans fat, zero grams trans fat, no artificial preservatives, and there's one, no artificial preservative, no artificial preservatives, no artificial preservatives. This one sentence, uh, the preservative sentence, no artificial preservatives was a bit of a tongue twister for me. Let me just hear how I did it. And if I'm going to use my third take, let me make sure I have that sentence pretty well, well done. No artificial preservatives. No artificial preservatives. And yeah. there's one for every and I, As you can hear, I repeated that sentence because, you know, I just, I, I didn't nail it the first time. I just repeated it again. And you can see, once you start seeing, you know, these waveforms as just your phrases and sentences, editing becomes a lot more easy and it becomes like working in a word processor where you can just see a, a word and you can highlight a word and delete it and redo the word here. 
So I'm going to work mostly with this third take. If there's any parts of these other takes I wanted, I might be able to, I, I might want to edit it into this take, but let's just work on this take. And let's first of all start out by uh, eliminating the breaths in this take. So let me, let me zoom out a little bit. I'm going to select my zoom tool, hold down shift, zoom out, select my time shift tool. Let me just separate this take away from all these other takes. I want a nice clean canvas. I'll keep those as backup, but let me just focus right on this. Select my zoom tool, zoom in, and I want to uh, eliminate the breath for my client. I don't want them to hear me, I don't want them to hear me breathe in between sentences. And I might even want to adjust, um, I might even want to adjust the, the spacing between my phrases as well. So I'm going to select my selection tool. Let me just play the beginning here. The so right there, I have a breath right there, right off the bat. Let me go to my zoom tool, zoom right in, because I want to do a surgical edit on this, right? Uh, my selection tool, my word pretty much starts there, I'm pretty sure. Let me just play it. These yeah, it does. So, and that's the benefit of zooming in and out. If once you if you zoom in really close and you play it, these gold it's really hard to keep track. It's really hard to keep track of where you are. That's why you want to make sure you zoom out so you don't lose track of where you are. But this is this is the place we're going to really focus on. And there's that breath. I'm just going to eyeball it for right now. I'm going to highlight it. I'm just going to hit delete, get rid of it. I don't I don't care that the rest of the region shifts from the left to the right at this point. Zoom in. I want to clean up clean it up a little bit at the beginning of that word. These, these gold, and that sounds fine to me. I'm going, I'm going to just kind of keep that. Let's keep on playing. These goldfish crackers are natural, baked with real ingredients. So right away, I have a bit more space than I want to between my first frit, my first sentence, and my second sentence. These goldfish crackers are natural, baked with real ingredients. I bet we can, we can, uh, I bet we can. Uh, edit some of the space out and just get the the spot to uh, move along a bit better so let me go ahead and zoom into this area right here I'm going to hit highlight with my selection tool now here's a really cool thing you can do in audacity if you highlight something you, you think you want you want to delete but you want to listen to it what you can do do is highlight it hold down the shift key right away you can see that the play button turns into like this, it looks like two arrows going in a circle, almost like a recycling icon in a way. If I release this shift key, it goes back to a play button. But basically what that allows me to do, it just allows me to loop the, the area of the region I've highlighted. And I'm just looping that, and that's just dead air. So I, I'm good to eliminate that. Let me hit stop. Let me go up to edit. This time I am going to clip boundaries. I want to separate these two regions. I want to be able to paste these two phrases out. If I just hit delete at this point, it's just going to shift this area over to this area and there's not going, there's not going to be a break for me to separate the, separate the two. I want to be able to separate this area from this area. So I'm going to go up to edit, clip boundaries, split. I'm going to select my time shift tool, move this region away and just hit delete to get rid of that right there. Select my zoom tool, hold down shift to zoom out. And let me just listen to that. I'm going to select my selection tool, put it here right at the beginning. These goldfish crackers are natural, baked with real ingredients. It's a bit fast for me. Let me just space it out a little bit more with my time shift tool. Select my time shift tool, move it over a little bit. Selection tool, right at the beginning. These goldfish crackers are natural, baked with real ingredients. It's a little slow. I'm going to select my time shift tool, pull it in a little bit. Selection tool, put it right there, hit spacebar to play. These goldfish crackers are natural, baked with real ingredients. Zero I'm happy with that pace. Let's keep that. And just let me say one other thing. Right now, I'm not in an acoustically controlled environment. I'm not in a booth. I would not perform this necessarily in front of the computer. I would hit record on Audacity, and then I'd go into the booth with my microphone, perform it a few times, come back out, hit stop. So don't judge my audio quality too harshly. This uh, video is just for um, how to edit in Audacity. So the, the audio isn't going to be 
perfect. It's certainly not going to be a uh, voiceover audition or, or the kind of audio quality I'd send to a client, but just for the purposes of this video, it's going to be a little, a little roomy. We're going to have a little reflection in the audio. So let me go ahead and, and play from the top again. These goldfish crackers are natural, baked with real ingredients. And there's a little dead space with a little breath. Let's go ahead and select the zoom tool, zoom right in. And I know that's the breath right there. I can, I can hear it. Yeah, so let me just go ahead and, and go up to edit, clip boundaries, split, time shift tool, move this region over a little bit, delete that breath. I'm going to scroll over a little bit at the bottom here. I'm just going to arrow over so I can just hear the end of this region, the beginning of this region, so I can marry these two together in a natural way. Selection tool, place it right there. I'm going to hit spacebar to play it. Ingredients. Zero. So there's my S right there. And there's a little dead space right there. So I can just go ahead and trim that up a little bit and, and just hit delete and it shuffled everything over a little bit for me. Ingredients. Zero grams transfer. So let me go back to that edit. I th let me see what it sounds like if I just pull this part of the region over. Let's see if I can, if it, it'll sound better if, if I do this, if I, I make them happen a little faster, but still make sure it sounds natural. Hold down shift with my zoom tool, zoom out. There's my edit right there, time selection tool. Space bar to play. It's zero gram. Let me just play from the top of here. Baked with real ingredients. Zero grams trans fat. Ah, yeah, I like that. It's a nice clean edit right there. These goldfish crackers are natural. Baked with real ingredients. Zero grams trans fat. No artificial. And there's a big long pause right there. Let me go ahead. Zoom tool. Zoom right in. Yeah, it's just dead air. Let me go ahead and go to edit, clip boundaries, split. And I'm going to go to my time shift tool, move that away, delete that dead, that dead space. Zoom, let me zoom out so I don't lose track where I am. You can see the whole thing. Selection tool, place it right about here and hit space bar to play. Grams trans fat, no artificial, no artificial preservatives. Ah, so I botched this line. Here's no artificial. So no that's fine. Since I know that's that's just a botch line, I'm just going to highlight it with my selection tool. Hit delete. Let's get rid of it right off the bat. Grams trans fat. No artificial preservatives. No artificial preservatives. Uh, so I took that sentence twice, and the first one I botched as well. No artificial preservatives. No artificial preservatives. That's a much better take. So again, I'm going to do what I did before. Just highlight the bit I don't want. Delete. I don't mind if I, I don't need to split anything because I'm just getting rid of the end of the beginning of that region, so I, I don't need to do any any split there. No artificial preservatives. That's better. No. Nope. There's my little breath right there. I want to get rid of that. I want to trim off the fat, as I say. I just want to trim off the breath here. So let me zoom in and do a nice surgical cut in here. Let me talk about. Um, when you do do a, a, a surgical cut, what we're looking at when we zoom in really, really, really close is that we're looking at, you know, milliseconds. We're looking at the, mi the microscopic wave, you know, we're, we're really getting in there. Let me zoom out. I'm a little too far in. And when you zoom in too much, it's really easy to lose your place. That's why, you know, you really want to master the zoom tool to make sure that you're zooming in and zooming out where you want to be. But when I do cut, and that's my breath right there. Or if I hold down shift and just hit space bar. You can just hear it looping like that. I know I want to get rid of that right off the bat, so let me go hit delete, zoom in, and just be sure if you'll notice that there are places here with little bumps, there's little just little bumps here. What I try to do is I try to cut right on a pl on this flat line. Anywhere there's a flat line, I want to cut on a flat line. I try to avoid to cut on these big bumps right here because sometimes what can happen if you cut on those bumps, you'll get a little digital clip sometimes, just a little thing. It's very subtle, 
But, you know, if you are uh, OCD like I am about things like this, I like to make sure I cut where it's nice and clean when there's absolutely no volume. And what you can do is, with your selection tool, uh, click and just drag, 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 drag to the end of that region. And this is base, This is very, uh, again, surgical kind of clean up here. So i am just highlighted the, the, the beginning of this region. We're just going to hit delete. Bam. Um, I know my my word starts right about here and if you wanted to you could even get closer like that first wave right there that's the be really the beginning of the word always err on the side of not cutting into the word I would rather cut far away from the word than try to get in here and cut near the word because that sometimes you can cut into a word and if you cut if you cut further around a word if you get a little little room noise in there that's forgivable, but when you cut into a word, that's unforgivable. That's very noticeable. So never, never do that. Err on the side of, of making sure you never cut into the actual word. Let me go ahead, select my zoom tool, click on Shift, click out, so I can hear this edit now. I'm going to select my selection tool. Let's just put it at the top, at right, this edit point right here. Hit space to play. Let's hear our edits so far. Baked with real ingredients, zero grams trans fat. No artificial preservatives. Let me go again. Grams trans fat. No artificial preservatives. And there's that might be a little quick for, for me. Let me go ahead and select the, my time shift tool. Let me just space out just a little bit. Uh, I'm going to select my selection tool. Click it. Click it right here. Hit space bar to play. No grams trans fat. No artificial preservatives. And there's one for every. Okay, I'm going to hit space bar to stop. And let me get rid of this this dead space in here as well. Maybe. Again, what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to uh, I'm trying to pull these these phrases, these waveforms together cl as close as I can to make to help the spot move along a bit faster to eliminate my breath. And what's important is just make sure that I uh, make it sound natural. Don't push it along just for the sake of pushing it along. It must sound natural as well. So preservatives, and there's one for every. I bet I can make these two waveforms sound like the same sentence if I just eliminate this bit in here. So let me go ahead and put my selection tool in there, select my zoom tool, zoom right in. I'm going to just go ahead and cut away some of the dead air right now with my selection tool, go up to edit, clip boundary split, select my time shift tool, move this away, delete that bit. Let me go ahead and get in there, zoom in. Selection tool. There's a nice dead space right there. Just trimming off, the, just trimming off the, the last bit. Let me scroll over. I'm not going to zoom out quite yet. I'm just going to. There's a lot of dead space here. Let me select my zoom tool. Hold down Shift. Zoom out once, maybe. That'll be fine. Selection tool. And there, I can I can see the dead space right there. Let me just go ahead and hit delete. So, zoom tool. Hold down shift, zoom out. And let me just let me zoom out even more actually. Let's hear that edit. Let me put my, my selection tool there. Hit, hit space bar to play. No artificial preservatives. And there's one for every taste. I like that. It's a lot faster than what it was. No artificial preservatives. And there's one for every taste. Now, now they it sounds more like one sentence instead of no artificial preservatives. And there's one for every taste. I want it to sound more like no artificial no artificial preservatives and there's one for every taste so it sounds like a complete thought let's go ahead and check out the next next phrase for every taste because everyone's different and that's only natural and i bet i can inch these two lines together and make make this whole sentence sound like one i bet i can i can move this along so i'm going to do what i've been doing let me zoom in a little bit there's some dead space right there i know there's nothing Nothing happening there, so I can just go ahead and edit, clip boundaries, split, time shift tool, move this over, delete that. Let me trim up my ends a little bit here. I'm gonna put my with my selection tool, put my cursor there. Zoom tool, let me zoom right in. There's the beginning of my word. Let me just let me just take it off like right here in this dead space right here. That's that'd be good. Click and drag to the end, delete. Let me move over to the next to the end of the last region. Oops. And 
Let me zoom out a little bit. Scroll a little fast for me there. Selection tool. Because, because I'm fine with that. I'm not going to take any more off my S. I can hear, even though it looks like the S stops here and this is dead space, always remember to use your ears. Don't use your eyes with this stuff. The, you know, the great thing about audio editing in the 21st century in, in digital is that you can, it, you know, you have visual cues, cues to help you, but don't rely on your eyes. Always rely on your ears. So if it sounds good, it is good. I'm not going to take any more off the end there. Because everyone's different. Yeah, that'll work. So let me hear that edit now altogether. I'm always checking my edit. I'm always checking, always checking. And there's one for every taste. Because everyone's different. I bet I can pull those together just a little bit more with my time shift tool. I'm going to pull this region in a little bit. Selection tool. Let me hear it. No artificial preservatives. And there's one for every taste. Because everyone's different. And that I bet I can pull it in even more. It still sounds pretty natural to me. No artificial preservatives. And there's one for every taste. Because everyone's different. Yeah, I pulled it right in. Every taste. Because everyone's different. And that's only not. Now I want to pull this one in a little bit more. Let me zoom in. Highlight the selection tool. I know this is all dead air. Play it a couple times. No. Once you highlight something, you hit, hit the space bar. It'll just play it. Go to edit. Clip boundaries, split, time shift tool, move that away, hit delete on my keyboard to get rid of that a little bit. And again, you know, to really learn the software, it's just a matter of, of doing this over and over again. Once once you've done a couple of edits on your own, you, you'll be flying through this. Hit zoom, hold down shift, zoom out a bit. Let me hear that, that edit. Taste because everyone's different, and that's only natural. And I like that, you know. Let me go see if, if I do need to do a little trimming at the end of this region. I don't think I do. I didn't. I didn't hear anything. I'm being. I'm being overly, overly uh, nitpicky here with how I'm editing. I don't really have to do this, but so I, I just go to edit, clip boundaries, split, and I'm just going to delete that. But of course, that shifts the rest of the region over, so. That's going. That might mess up my edit a little bit. So let me just double check that now. Pick my zoom tool. Hold down shift. Zoom out. Selection tool. Let me hear that edit again. Everyone's different, and that's only not. It's a little quick now that it's shift over. So I'm just going to shift it over a couple milliseconds. We're talking milliseconds. But remember, always rely on your ears, not your eyes. There's, there. You know, the human ear is just an amazing instrument. You you can hear things. You know when things don't sound natural. You know, especially human speech. You know when human speech does not sound natural. Um, just be aware of that. Everyone's different, and that's only natural. Goldfish. So cool. I'm I'm happy, happy with that edit. So now we're co we've come to our tag here. Only natural. Goldfish. So that's a lot of room between the end of my sentence and my tag. And I take my time when I when I'm performing like that. You know, I want to make sure every phrase, every sentence is, is a performance. Um, and there's just I, you know, there are just some rock star voiceover talent that they they don't need to take the space. They don't need to take their time. They jam, they jam through a bit of copy. They perform it, and they nail it. I do not do that my, myself. I I'm more on the engineering and post-production side of things. But because I'm good with the technology, I can kind of uh, enhance my performance with the technology, although I do not recommend you do that as a voice over talent. You you have that option when you work at home in your own private studio and you're, you you like editing post-production. It really, uh, you know, you run into a, a problem, you paint yourself into a corner if you're ever asked to come into a studio with, uh, you know, the client there, the producer there, the ad execs there, and they want you to perform the spot. They don't want you to screw up too many times. They want you to nail it. <laughs> but through technology, we can take it a little bit, which is what we're doing right now. So anyway, here's that dead air, and I want to I want to get this closer. I want to get our tag over here closer to the actual the ending of of the of the spot. So again, edit, clip boundaries, split, time shift tool, move that away, get rid of that dead 
dead air. Let me just hear my, my, my tag. Goldfish, the snack that smiles back. I'm going to zoom right, way, way out. Hold, pick my zoom tool, hold down shift, zoom out. There's our little edit right there. But let's take a look. I want to listen to, just for fun, I just want to hear the tags I did over on these spots. So let me put my selection tool on the first take over here. Select my zoom tool. Go in. Selection tool. Goldfish, the snack that smiles back. I don't like that one. I didn't smile at all. Goldfish, the snack that smiles back. Uh, I guess I still, so if I liked one of these takes, I could actually, you know, cut. The, the, if I like this tag and I wanted to edit into my, my other take down there, I could actually go up to edit, and I could go copy. Okay, and then I'm going to hit my zoom. Let me just zoom out so I can get back to my master edit over here. Put my selection tool there, pick my zoom tool, zoom in. And with my selection tool right there, I could go up to edit again and paste. Now I basically just cut and pasted my, my tag from take two, and I could use it in take three if I wanted to. And that's only natural. Goldfish, the snack that smiles back. What? Goldfish. The snack that smiles back. Uh, I, sound, I sound like I mean it more on this one. So. Goldfish. The snack that smiles back. You know what? I don't, I'm, not, I'm not totally happy with either of those tags. I'll just go ahead and delete them. I still need a better tag. I think I can do better. I know I can do better. So here's what I'm going to do. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mute this track. Because when I hit record, I'm going to record a few more tags for myself. It's, Audacity is going to create another track underneath. Now, it's going to start from here, but sometimes if you record underneath, you know, underneath another region, they'll play simultaneously together, and you don't want to hear your last take while you're trying to record a new take. They'll screw you up. So I always just hit, hit mute to mute this track. I'm going to hit record now for the track underneath will appear, and I'm going to do a couple of tags. There we go. Goldfish, the snack that smiles back. Goldfish, the snack that smiles back. Goldfish, the snack that smiles back. So hopefully one of those will do the trick for me. Let me go ahead and press the stop button here. I'm going to select my time shift tool. This time shift tool allows you not only to move the regions from left to right, but it also allows you to move the regions from one track to another. And I don't need this track anymore that I recorded to. That was just a record track. So let me go ahead and hit this, hit this X right here, get rid of it. Unmute this track. So I have my master edit here, and now I have a really good tag. And if you were unhappy with any of the phrases in here, you could just re-record it. You can't, re you can't record a single word and put it in there, but entire phrases you can. It would be really, really difficult to, for me to edit out a word from this glob of, of, uh, of, of regions, of waveforms. But think in terms of recording entire sentences or even phrases that you can, you can edit together. So let me go ahead and now with the selection tool, let me go ahead and here listen to the tags I recorded. I know the beginning here is just there we go. Just noise. Maybe that's maybe this is what the noise you got when you're walking to your booth when you hit record. You don't need all that at the beginning, so just highlight, delete it. Goldfish, the snack that smiles back. Goldfish, the snack that smiles back. Goldfish, the snack that smiles back. I like this one. I had a bit of a laugh in the middle one here. Goldfish. The snack that smiles back. Ah, that's cool. So I don't need this this part. I'm just going to highlight, delete, and I don't need this part. I'm just going to highlight. Let me make sure I don't cut anything off here. That smiles back. Let me just zoom in. Don't want to don't want to erase anything I've done. That it looks like that's my K right there. That smiles back. So I think I'm safe to just cut right here, right to the end. Highlight all that, and hit delete. Let me zoom out so I have a better perspective on things. Slide my whole thing over here so I see what I'm doing. 
So now I want to marry this 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 tag onto the rest of my uh, my my master edit. And that's only natural. Cold fish. Okay, so time selection tool or uh, time shift tool. Let me push it over a little bit. I can hear right away that breath. There's a big gob right there. That's my breath. So I'm just going to go ahead and let's zoom in, do a surgical edit on that. And that's the beginning of my G right there. I don't want to edit into that, but I do want to get rid of this breath. So I'm going to have to zoom in really, really tight to get a good place. And we're looking at milliseconds here. We're looking at the microscopic part of the wave. And I, I found a good dead space where I can start the edit. I'm just going to click and drag all the way to the end or to the beginning of this. What we're looking at right now is the breath that I did. I think I, I've highlighted enough. Let me go to my zoom tool. Hold down shift, zoom out. And what I'm going to do is go edit, clip boundaries, split, time shift, push that over, selection tool, and now I can just go ahead and delete all that. Time shift tool, I'm going to get a little closer to my main edit, my master edit here. Selection tool. It's only natural. Cold fit. It's a little fast for me. Pull back a little bit. Let me zoom out a little bit more. Zoom tool. Pull down shift. Zoom out. Selection tool. And that's only natural. Cold fish. I bet I can do it a little faster. That's only natural. Cold fish. The snack that smiles back. And let me get rid of this space in between the, the billboard of the client and the, the tag here. Cold fish. The snack that smiles back. It's not too bad. I, I, I like it. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to do any, any fancy. I'm not going to split these up at all. Uh, I'm just going to highlight, hit delete, just to bring it in closer. But you'll, you will notice that the region is, is not split into two different regions. It's still one region. I just eliminate some of that dead air in the middle. That's, what ha that's the main difference between clip boundaries and split and just highlighting and editing and highlighting and deleting. Cold fish, the snack that smiles back. There's, Cold. There's my K right there. You can see the, the K. And that's how you start looking. It's like something out of the matrix. You start seeing, seeing words in a whole new way. And I'm not going to trim off any of the end. That, that's fine. I'm happy with it. It sounds good to me, so I'm, I'm going to leave it. Let me listen to the whole master edit now. My selection tool, I'll place right here, press play, or press the space bar to hit to play. These goldfish crackers are natural, baked with real ingredients, zero grams trans fat, no artificial preservatives, and there's one for every taste, because everyone's different, and that's only natural. Goldfish, the snack that smiles back. Okay, so these one thing I'm not happy about I'm not happy about this edit I did right in here. I feel it's a little fast. Baked with real ingredients. Zero grams trans I want baked with real ingredients. Zero grams trans fat. I just want a second in there. I want a beat. So, you know, in order to do that, you know, you'd pick, traditionally as we've been doing, we, we select our time shift tool and we, we move this more to the right in order to give more space between these two regions. However, if I just select this region, I'm going to move it into that region. It's going to mess up my edits on 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 this side, and I can't I can't move it any further because like, I have a region in the way. So I need to move all these regions together. So let me undo what I just did there. And what I need to do is I need to highlight this region. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way to the the right of the last region. I'm going to move. I'm going to hold down the shift key on my computer keyboard. I'm going to click again. And that's going to highlight the region I want to move and all the regions to the right. I'm going to select my time shift tool. And now I can move all these as one unit. I'm not going to mess up this, the timing in between any of my other edits. Okay? So now I can, I can just play with the timing between these two regions without messing up the timing in between all the other regions. Let me see. Selection tool. Let me, let me hear that now. Hackers are natural. Baked with real ingredients, zero grams trans fat. And I like that. I like that 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 beat I gave in the middle of those. Ingredients, zero grams trans fat, 
no artificial. So just remember, if you've already made all your edits and you want to you want to re-space and edit in the middle, but you have edits to your your right already, you don't want to mess up those edits. Just remember to to highlight the region you want to space away from the region to the left. Hold down Shift, click to the furthest right of your last region, and then you can then select Time Shift tool, and then you can move all those as one. Great, I'm happy with this. I'm 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 happy, and this is my final edit. I don't have any more breaths. I don't have any weird awkward spacing in it, and you wouldn't know that for some of these sentences, I had to repeat it during the take, and then the tag is from a completely different recording, but it makes for one completed product. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to export this out of Audacity. Audacity calls it exporting. Other software programs such as uh, Pro Tools uh, calls it bouncing, bouncing and exporting. You hear, you know, those are kind of interchangeable sometimes. Um, but basically, what it's, what it's, when I export audio out of Audacity, it's going to export an audio file as the final product, the product I'm going to send my client. I wouldn't send my client this entire session. Uh, I'm going to just, just send him one audio file. So let's go ahead and do that now. First of all, I'm going to just highlight the first region. I'm going to hold shift. I'm going to highlight the last region. I'm going to do what we did before. I'm going, this is what I want to bounce out. I don't want to, I, I don't want to bounce out these two takes. If I just, if I go up to edit, if I go up to file and I export, it's going to export my first two takes and this take, and it's going to be three minutes long. And I just want to export this bit. So I'm just going to highlight the bit I want to export, go to file, export selection, and even though I'm on a Mac, you should see something similar on a PC. Um, basically, it's asking you where you want to export it to, where you want to save it to. I'm just going to head. I'm just going to go ahead and select my desktop, uh, and you should have something an icon similar to that on a PC. It'll be desktop in this column, and then what do you want to call it? Uh, I'm just going to call it Goldfish, and maybe I can call it something like Gold Goldfish. Goldfish, you know, final version. I'm going to export it right to my desktop. The other thing you can do is, you know, you can change your format. I'm going to, I'm going to just export it as a Wave 16-bit. But if your client wants you to export it as an MP3, you can choose MB3. There's a lot of different file uh, file choices. The most common are Wave 16-bit and MP3 files. So. You know, whatever your client wants. Wave is technically a, a better file size. It's a more, it has more information in it, and it, it, it can sound a lot better sometimes than an MP3. But everyone uses MP3s nowadays. All the uh, songs you buy from iTunes or Amazon or whoever, they they're all MP. I'll just skip that. So just be sure to choose the file that your client would like you to deliver the product in, WAVE or MP3 or whatever. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And that's it. I'm pretty much done with, with Audacity at this point. Before I close it out, I'm going to go up to File. I'm going to save my project as. File management is so important. I like to keep all my Auda all my Audacity sessions um, chronological uh, as, as the, on, on the date I recorded them. So today's date is May twenty third, two thousand twelve. So I'm just gonna go five twenty three twelve. This is the goldfish spot I did. So when they they call me a year from now and, and they want me to you know, read, you know, they want the same exact thing I gave them before, but now they just want me to put a new tag on it to say, hey, the new goldfish, the new goldfish flavor is coming out next month. I can just give them, rebounce what I had and record a little bit more. So I always keep my sessions. So if they want me to go back in at any point in the future and manipulate it a little bit more and move things around or, or you know, just make minor changes to the, the thing, make minor changes to the audio I gave them before, I can do that. I'm going to, again, I'm going to go ahead and save this to my desktop as well. Let me go to File. I'm going to close the session. 
So here are the two things that we have, or three things actually. First of all, this is the audio file we bounced out or exported out of Audacity. This is what I'm going to be sending to my client. These goldfish crackers are natural, baked with real ingredients. Zero grams trans fat, no artificial preservatives, and there's one for every taste, because everyone's different, and that's only natural. Goldfish, the snack that smiles back. And you wouldn't know that that was, you know, These this was a, a compilation of a lot of different takes. You wouldn't know that, you know, there's no breaths in there either. Fish crackers are it's not because I can't breathe while I perform, it's just I just deleted them. Natural. Baked with real because everyone's different, and that's only natural. Goldfish, the snack that smiles back. So that's what I'm going to be sending my client. The Audacity session that we that we saved to our desktop. This is the session itself. This is how we can we can open it up and we can go back in and make adjustments if we need to in the future for Goldfish. If they call us a year from now and they say, "Hey, open up that Audacity file and make some adjustments or record an extra thing on there for us," we can do that. And Audacity actually saves it in two parts. Number one, they save the Audacity session template. This is the template. I like to think of this as I like to think of this as the frame you put photographs in. The other thing that Audacity generates when you create a new session is the data folder. And in the data folder, you basically have the audio files the Audacity use. This is all the audio that we recorded and edited in Audacity today. And what I like to do, just for my own file management, I might create another folder on my desktop. On a Mac, I go to File, New Folder. And I might name this one May-23rd, 2012, um, Goldfish Audacity Session. And then I'm just going to keep these two things together all the time. I don't want them get separating. Because if they, these two things get separated, if I were to lose the data folder and just open up the template, if I were to throw this out and delete it right now, this, this template folder, this frame would be useless to me. There would be no photograph. And the data is really like the photograph you put in the frame. These things should not be separated. So just keep those together all the time. I just, I, and again, I just keep them all in one folder all the time. And you can even throw your audio file, your final product in there. And now you have everything all together. Fi again, file management, I cannot uh, overstate how important file management is. And again, this, this, this audio file is what I would send to my client. So that's the basics of editing in Audacity. It's a lot of fun, and the only way to really learn it is to keep on doing it. Make some mistakes. Don't learn how to do this on the job. Do it before you get the gig or before you have to send in that audition with no breath or, or, or you want to edit some great parts together. And uh, with this software, the sky's the limit. I hope you enjoyed the video and happy editing.